Hi, I'm Monica. Let's talk about my 2023 five-star book predictions. The books I did choose for this year's prediction, I'm very, very excited about all of them, and I really do think I will rate them five stars. In case you missed it, I did upload a recent video reviewing last year's predictions for 2022 and what I thought about that list, and I'll link that down below if you're interested. Let's get to the first book that I think that will be five stars, and I chose Bear Town by Frederick Backman. This one is an adult contemporary, and I have heard quite a few things about this, really good things about this, and I've been curious to pick it up. This town is completely surrounded by the forest, and its only saving grace is an old ice rink. Their junior ice hockey team is so close to winning nationals, and the hopes of this community is resting on the shoulders of teenage boys. However, the semifinal game will result in a girl being traumatized and the town in turmoil. Small town books are either a hit or a miss for me, but I'm quite sure this will be a hit for me. Next, I chose a adult epic fantasy, and it, this is The Fifth Season by N.K. Jeminson. With this one, I am actually not quite familiar with it, but I did read up on the synopsis. On this world, its planet is dying because of a giant rift, and this rift is spewing out ash and fire into the sky. And there's also a thousand-year-old strong empire that's collapsing because Many of its citizens are being murdered for a madman. In the midst of all of that, we're following a vengeful mother, a son, who one day comes home from work and discovers that her husband murdered their son and kidnapped their daughter. She is now venturing out into these deadly lands in order to save her daughter, no matter the cost. I'm really up for a sci-fi, fantasy, dystopia mixed type of book, and I really think that I will really enjoy the fifth season. Next on my 5-star predictions list is The Alloy of Law by Granite Sederson. This is the first book in the second era of the Mistborn world. I know this one takes place 300 years after the original events of the first main trilogy. The first Mistborn trilogy is based around the concept of ingesting metals, and ingesting those metals will grant you some superhuman abilities and that concept continues into this second era series. Personally, I really didn't want to dive in too much into the description of this book because I want to be surprised while reading The Alloy of Law. I do know that this world is now a steampunk fantasy world and there is more technology like guns being used compared to like the typical high fantasy world that we're used to with no technology or guns but just magic. I don't even know like the characters or how the story plot will go out, but I'll figure that out when I dive into this one. But I'm quite sure I will rate this one 5 stars. Next up is an adult sci-fi fantasy, and this is Gideon the Ninth by Tamsin Muir. Again, this is one book that I don't really know much about, but I know has a huge focus on necromancy. And while doing like some research for this video, I did read up the description for this Book, and it was a little bit confusing, so I'll try my best to explain it. We have two main characters, Gideon and Hero. Gideon was raised by nuns, and she's a fantastic swordswoman, and she's getting ready to flee this life of servitude, but then she runs into her childhood nemesis, Hero. Hero is a necromancer, a bone witch, and she needs to compete in a trial with the heirs of other houses. As the winner of these trials, you will achieve immortality. But a necromancer cannot ascend without their sworn sword, and for Hero, that would be Gideon. This one, it's like a maybe that it will be five stars, but I still have high hopes for it because I was confused reading this description and trying to formulate it into a way that's easy to explain to people. But I do have high hopes for this one. My next pick for five stars would be Love on the Brain by Ali Hazelwood. And I did read the Love Hypothesis last year and I loved it. I read that one five out of five stars. This one is a STEM-based romance. And in this one, the romance is between B and Levi. B is the lead on a neuroengineering project at NASA, which is a dream come true for her. But she has to co-lead with Levi Ward, who is tall, dark, and handsome, and is also her arch nemesis from grad school. When B's equipment starts mysteriously going missing and her co-workers ignore her, she finds an ally in Levi and things just kick off from there. I'm very much expecting steamy romance scenes as well as banter and chemistry build up, and I'm really excited to get to this one, and hopefully it is five stars. 
Next is one I'm very excited to talk about, and this is Swordcatcher by Cassandra Clare. This is her debut adult fantasy book, and honestly, like, I think her first book that is not Shadowhunter based, so I'm very excited about that. And I actually already pre-ordered this one, and I believe it's coming out in October this year, and I did mention this one in my most anticipated books of 2023 video, so if you're interested in that, I will link that out down below as well. In this world, we're set in the city of Calestaline, and we see that the only thing in common that the rich and poor have is the pursuit of power and wealth. We have two main characters in this book. First, we have Cal, who is an orphan and has been taken away from his parents as a child, and he's been chosen to be the sword catcher, which is to be the body double of the royal prince Connor. Then we have Lynn who has magical abilities. She's also a physician and she really needs to heal her best friend Miriam. After an assassination attempt, Cal and Lynn are thrown together into the deep crime underbelly of Calestaline. There's also some more things to this book like forbidden romance, breaking free from servitude, and also gaining banned knowledge. I'm really excited for this book and I wonder how I will take Cassandra Clare as an adult fantasy writer and compared to her YA books, but I'm very much excited and I really do think I will love this one. Last but not least is A Curse for True Love by Stephanie Garber. This is the last and final book in the Once Upon a Broken Heart trilogy. Book two of the series, The Ballad of Never After, was so sad. <laughs> and the way that book two ended, I just know that I will love book three. If you don't know what the series is about, it is a YA fantasy romance series and it will really break your heart and make you cry over characters. <laughs> We're following Evangeline, who is a hopeless romantic, has pink hair, and has a knack of getting into trouble. When Evangeline figures out the love of her life is set to marry her stepsister, she makes a deal with the Prince of Hearts, Jax, and she quickly finds out that making a deal with an immortal is not really the best idea. And I just know that book three is going to cost me huge heartbreak and I have to thank the author for that. Sometimes we just need a good book to cry over and I think this would be that one and I'll still rate it five stars and I think it will be very, very intense. So those are all the books that I have on my five star predictions list and I really hope that I get to all of them. I really am excited for all these books. I hope you found a book or two to add to your own TBR and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below and also ring the notification bell to not miss any future uploads. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.